how to become a work session rhino pro in under eight minutes in this tutorial i will give you the quick and dirty on how to use work session in rhino and how to get started and use it to reference multiple files without overloading your file size i have here a couple solid objects um, arranged and i have saved this file already as boxes come paraboloid and there are two other files that I have with geometry that I want to bring into this scene as references. Um, now, as you can see here in file, there's different ways to do that. You can insert, you can import, etc. As you can see here, work session is an op option as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type out work session and it brings up the work session manager. Um, so here I am going to choose to attach files and so here are these files that I told you. Um, I'm going to attach the ground ellipsoid and the torus file. You can do multiple at files at a time and it'll bring them in. You can see here that they're starting to appear in the layers. Uh, it is the file name and then if you expand it oh, here. Well if you can expand it you can see the different layers. Um, before I close out of here um, just show you real quick what the manager can do. You can click on the different files. You can detach them. It'll remove it from your file so here you saw that disappear um, you can set it as active so now you will be in that file uh, editing whatever um, geometries in that one I'm going to reattach that file I took out ground ellipsoid let's bring it back in um, so that's kind of how you manage those files here in the session um, I'm going to go ahead and save this work session file so um, Sorry, save as. The work session file that I'm going to reference is this one here I've been playing with. Um, so it just saved it on top of that file. Um, but you could click save, save as, type in your name, and that'll be what you should be clicking in to edit. Um, everyone who's referencing all these files should have their own personal work session file. Um, so I usually name it with my own and what the project is. Um, so yes, let's replace it and you want to write over it every single time if you want to, it to stay up to date in terms of what was the last uh, file you were in, etc. Um, so let's close out of that. Let's come in here. As I mentioned, you can see all of the different layers that are in these files. Uh, it's really neat. You can turn them on and off. So this is where good file management comes into play. Um, let's see what else is in there. Um, if It will not allow you to edit the objects in those files. So um, it will let you click them, it will let you drag them around. Let's make sure. Yeah, so you can drag them, it will always snap back. You can't edit it. So if you try to scale, for example, here, let's see, let's just do that. Trying to scale it, it'll snap back to what it was. Um, but if you try to copy it, it will allow you to copy. So here's that object. This is now in my file here. Um, and it brought in, um, oh, sorry. So I'll just go ahead and rename it Taurus. It's a new uh, Taurus copy. Change it to that there. I'm going to delete these unused uh, layers. So now I have this little Taurus there. And as you can see, since you can edit it, you can see the little gumball figure that didn't appear with the other ones before. Um, so let's go ahead and go into this one here. You can also, instead of pulling up the um, work session manager, you can come up here to the uh, layer on where that file is, right click it and you get these um, options. You can click on the work session reference and set it as the active model. So. It'll ask if you want to save any changes to this file, click yes to save them. Um, and then it'll ask you about saving work session changes to your work session file, which is um, my Rosa tutorial WS work session RWS. So I say yes. Um, it'll keep those files linked. It'll now set this one as the active file. Um, so here it is. Um, and like I said, it'll remember, for example, when in this file when I was setting it up, this was obviously the last window I was in. Um, this isn't shaded anymore because these were the settings of that file. So let's just go to shaded so you can see that again more clearly. 
um, let's say I want to move this around, I can do that now. Um, and so that's kind of the quick and dirty on how to do work session. Um, it's very easy. Again, you can expand, you can hide things. You can also use these as reference points. Um, you can use any like, you know, extract. Um, well, you can use like curves that might have existed in that file to, um, um, let's see, to, for example, um, extrude. So here I selected that surface on this um, object. Oh, here, let's do one on another file. I'm on this file. So select this surface. And if I want to extrude it, I'll type extrude. Uh, let's see. Well, here we go. I got that curve and so now I have that plane um, so it'll allow you to select um, select faces or curves and make new geometry off of that so uh, the shortcut I used to select that curve on that shape was control shift at the same time and then selecting the curve or selecting the face and you can select those um, and then I just extrude and there you have it um, so it's really convenient, really easy. File management is a big thing. Um, if you find yourself, for example, trying to, you know, grab items and you keep grabbing those shapes and it's a little annoying, you can always lock it and you will not be able to grab it, um, which is really nice because sometimes you forget and you copy something over, for example, let's undo. So I grabbed this over. Um, if you click Alt and drag, it'll copy it. Um, so here it copied that object. I didn't want it copied. Uh, you can just lock it and um, that won't happen anymore. You won't be able to grab it. But that's the quick and dirty. Um, there's other, um, let's see, work session. Um, these here, these options is if you are updating the file by itself, not as part of this work session. Um, for example, someone else is updating it on like a shared server, Google Drive or Box. Um, you can click on that object, click update, and if it is an older version, um, this will become um, clickable. So that'll be an option. Um, if you are the only one using these files and you're just cycling through setting one as active model, um, that will not be of a big concern, but if other people are editing the files or if you're opening a new Rhino window, for example, you know, going into these and opening it yourself in another Rhino window, um, you can go in here and just update it. And um, that should keep it up to date. Um, and as you can see here, that option is also there. Um, so it's a really neat, powerful tool. Um, it'll keep your files down.